Hey guys, Dan here from VHIX411. Today in front of me, I have a Subaru BIU, which is a body integrated unit. And in this video, I will show you how I'm gonna get the key information from old bad BIU and program it to the good donor BIU. Now, this one is a flooded, so we're gonna read directly at the EEPROM. And this one is a good donor with the same part number. Uh, essentially, BIU is a body control module. So let's say your wipers stop working, power windows, uh, climate control, whatever the body issue is, a lot of times it's in the BIU that is causing it and you need to replace it. When you swap the BIUs, the car will not start because it also stores key information in it. So swapping a donor BIU in the car with the exact same partner will not get it started for you. So that's why we're gonna show you how the cloning process is done, transferring key VIN number coding information from the original to a good donor. Okay, I'll be using the car probe for this. Now, I will show you the difference in EEPROMs so you will see the difference in what we're working with. Now, this is a medium size EEPROM. This is a mini EEPROM. It's obviously smaller than this. Now, this guy is a mini, mini EEPROM. That's how tiny that thing is. This is my Sharpie. That is really tiny EEPROM. So I already have it hooked up to my original BIU. That way we're not wasting any time. Cleaned it up, made sure we have a good connection. I already had my car probe set up for this. So as you can see, I set up my car probe to 24 CO2. Click read. And of course, read the original information from it. So I'm gonna do is save it as part number here, 88281. Then I'll just go with FJ280. And I'll just put original BIU. So now that I already saved it, and you can see here's the key information. AEEF DC2 52 right here. So it repeats in threes. So here's the key information. Also, this computer uh, is programmed to the cluster. So cluster is programmed to this, this is programmed to the ECU, and also the keys are programmed to it. So it's a lot of programming between computers. Now that I read my original one, I'll just disconnect it. And if you can see this thing, even though customer tried cleaning it up, it still is bad. You can see the rust on the pins and stuff like that. So this thing does not communicate. So good thing we can read this thing directly. Look how tiny this thing is. All right, so set this aside. I will open up my donor BIU. And of course this thing, let me zoom in more. Yeah, there you go. So if you can see, this thing is definitely very, very tiny. So I will clean up the silicone around it so I can have a good connection. Remove all the shine out of it. Now, if you need this service done, I will leave a link in the description below or at the end of the video. Otherwise, if you like the information you see, educational or just information, leave a like, um, comment if you have any questions. Uh, first time here, do subscribe and we'll just continue on so 
let me make sure it dries out because obviously if this thing doesn't dry out and we're gonna connect our pins that silicone will dry out on our pins and we're just not gonna have a good connection in the future at all so I'll set it up again I'm just using the setup as a 24 C02 pin out Now, if you don't know what that is, you can Google that, how to set up according to that pinout. Okay, set it up. Make sure that there's no shorting out in there. These pins are actually made not to short in between, so I'll click read. And as you can see, I read the donor. I'll just put new. BIU. I'll put save and obviously we're gonna load up our original. So let's see, 8824, 8828. And I'll click my original file. Click on that and you can see my original file pulled up. I'll just start writing. And voila, that's how easy it is to clone this BIU. This is actually out of 2017 Subaru Impreza. Uh, they do have for 2021, 22, otherwise. So pretty much no need to replace that by new or anything, especially with the inflation. All the cost of parts are actually going up. So no point. This thing literally is a tiny EEPROM. We read it, we written it, and the car will start. It will be identical to the bad original except it's going to be a good donor now if you like what you see hit that like button subscribe and do share this video i will see you in the next video thanks for watching again